time to meet the spin doctor. You'll find plenty more washing machines like these in his collection, as our Steve Hartman discovered. In the shadow of the Colorado Rockies, we found a man with a mountainous dilemma. Well, it doesn't look too intimidating from here. What to do with all the antique washing machines he has collected? You've got a problem. I do have a problem. 87-year-old <laughs> Lee Maxwell had to build a warehouse to store all the objects of his obsession. First automatic, 1937. And what's more is there's more. No. Way more. No. Behind that one warehouse, no. <laughs> there's a second warehouse, again, filled with nothing but washing machines. I told you it was insane. <laughs> it is one of the largest personal collections of anything in America. And Lee says it all began, innocently enough, with this one Maytag. He had just retired as an electrical engineering professor and was on a road trip with his wife, Barbara, when he saw this at a farm auction in Iowa. And by the time we got to Maine, we had four. And that's where the fur started to fly. Yeah. She was thinking bad things about me. <laughs> yeah. That I lost bad my things. rocker, and I think maybe I did. Huh? <laughs> By the time they got home, Lee had bought a dozen more and a trailer to haul them. There's a squeezer scrubber combination. Today, there are nearly 1,500 different machines in his collection. Goes up and down. Ones that you power. Push it. And ones that use power. So you put your sheep on here. Yeah. He's even got a model of one that was never mass produced that ran on child labor. So this, there would be one kid here and they would just go. One here and then they'd teeter-totter. Isn't that inventive? But what I found most amazing is that he restored all those machines. But this is what they look like. He finds them in this condition and then spends a couple weeks fixing up each one, working up to 10 hours a day, seven days a week. So what's your dilemma now? trying to find a home for it so the thing can be preserved. Do you think about this often? I do, every day. You need a Steve Hartman or a Bill Gates or something. He'd like to find a benefactor. <laughs> Preferably a Bill Gates. <laughs> Someone who could build a proper museum dedicated to the human ingenuity behind the washing machines we have today. Got a question for you. Indeed, you can't leave here without being struck by how much washing machines have changed over the years. You know how to turn this on? Absolutely not. <laughs> I didn't think so. And how men no idea are pretty much the same. Well, you tell me. <laughs> <laughs>